Well, good evening, good evening, good evening. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Suarez live stream. We've got something truly awesome for you this evening. I can't wait to get going. Oh, my goodness me. It's a roasting 45 degrees here. I know some of you in the comments, if you're watching this live, <laughs> I've said it's rather warm where you are. It's very warm where we are. I've got fans on, admittedly two layers of clothing. We're going to talk about this. <laughs> ah, boom, boom, very shortly. But for now, my colleague is going to run the intro title. Welcome back, welcome back everybody. Now we're just inviting all our friends over on Instagram. Hello, they'll give them a wave over there. So we are broadcasting live simultaneously on Instagram and on YouTube. It's going to be an epic evening. Like I just said to everybody, it's incredibly warm here. We are going to do some shout outs as we go through the broadcast. Can't wait to do that because there's lots of you dropping on now. I can see the stats rising. It's fantastic. A massive warm welcome. It's great to have all of our friends in our community here. What's that I hear in the background? Brand new music tracks for this evening from 80s Fair Hands. So we've got that. That's different. I got some different clothing on. Right, just this very second, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a, a drink because it's very, very warm in here. Uh, excuse me. I'm so. What, what? What was that? What are you holding there, Ed? Oh, it's funny you should ask. Look, there's a lovely. Can you see? Look, a lovely. Suarez glass. Oh, to go with my lovely Suarez hoodie. Isn't that marvellous? If it's good enough for one of those tech giants, we'll take two bites, shall we? Oh yeah, that's what we do here, folks. We paint different, and that's exactly what we're going to do here this evening. Oh yeah, these are available in the merch store, and he's going to pop a link to those, probably uh, up on the screen at some point. I will definitely pop it in the chat at some point, but right now, after that shameless plug, because let's face it, tonight's broadcast is sponsored by Suarez. <laughs> if I will take some water. <laughs> I am literally like a human reservoir today. It's crazy. Right, okay. Well, let's get some gloves on, folks. Things are going to liven up now. We're getting right into the middle of summer now with what's going to lie behind me. For those of you who've not seen this bit of kit behind me, I'm going to walk you and talk you through that in just a moment or two. But for now, let's just do... We know the camera's all right, but we're just going to check all the angles. So we know corner cam is okay. We know Instagram, you guys are fantastic. Uh, let's uh, choose a camera, mate, and let's just do it. Right, okay, PTZ's asleep, that's fine, let's stand over here, <laughs> oh, he's going to wake it back up now, uh, eventually, yeah, there I, there I am, look, hello, <laughs> PTZ's working, going to give some great camera shots, this, it's on the slider, look, oh, there it goes, going to have some amazing shots on that this evening, oh yeah, because we've got the, the favourite machine out, oh yes we have, let me stand over here and go to overhead cam, there's overhead cams just gently waking up and eventually, you know, in about an hour. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Hello. You've got me now, haven't you? Fantastic. Oh, I've lost the... Is the audio all right, mate? Because I've just lost... Okay, because I've lost my furry thing off the end of my microphone. Okay, well, it's fine. It's all going well. And Rome cam. No signal. Right? Okay. Uh-oh. What's going on with Rome cam? Oh, man, we don't need this tonight, do we? Right. I've got green and I've got orange. Right, okay. Sorry, folks. You might have a black screen. Uh-oh. Right, let me just pull it. See what's going on with it. Right, it's good on there. So I'm just going to plug it back in. Let's give it one more go. Okay, I'm plugged back in, mate. I've got a green and an orange light. Sorry, everybody. We're just going to try again. 
No signal, right, okay. Well, lady attempts to fix one cam. I'm going to talk you through what we're doing this evening. There we go. Look, in terms of continuity, well, let's have a look, shall we? Right, so we've got my favourite pan and spin and tilt machine. Look at this, isn't it wonderful? It goes all ways. It goes on that plane, it can spin that way. And of course, my favourite, we are going to be spinning it this way. I've just got to make sure I don't hit, hit it on the ceiling. And it's a bit of an unwieldy contraption, this look, because it's always trying to do that. So I've got my giant spanner. All right, and a giant spanner is designed to tighten the bolts up when I need them to. Right, okay, so we've got it on a flat plane. That's roughly flat. So while we try and fix one of the cameras, I knew it was going to be one of those nights. Let's get you guys up here where you can see what's going on. Right, we're going to try and roam cam one more time. No signal. Right, I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to switch it back on again. So uh, I'll do that on the fly. Let's just switch the Mars back on. Let's get that booted up. Right. Okay. So, guys, <laughs> this is a great start, isn't it? How are you doing? Are you all right? Are you warm where you are? Let us know where you are in the comments. <laughs> They've got a red light. You've got a red light. He's got a red light, everybody. Right. I'm plugging on you one more time. If you're watching this on replay, you can skip past this bit. Right, red light is on, but I've got no other lights. That's flashing. Right, I've got a red light. Oh, green and orange, mate. Green and orange. Try it again. Right. No signal. Great. That's probably OBS then. Right, here we go then, folks. We are going to start off with some orange while AD works furiously in the background to try and get this working. Right, so we're definitely down a camera. Not to worry. Not to worry. It won't dampen our spirits, will it, folks? We're going to start tonight with an orange and yellow. Let me hear it for the fans of orange and yellow. Uh, base coat. It's going to look super awesome, this. And I'm going in with a, like a melony kind of colour. So we're going to get that through the centre. Nice. And, um, oh, Eddie's in to have a look, see if he can get it working. Well, I try and get the yellow off the shelf, which is stuck solid. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, it's all good fun, isn't it, eh? It's all good fun. Let's go in with the yellow next. I don't know. I don't know, mate. It all looks... Uh, no. Just don't know why that's not working. It's a shame. It was all working previously. And all of a sudden, it's just decided to stop working. Ah, oh, well. Must be the heat. Mm, it'll soon just be him and me that works. <laughs> Everything else is giving up in the heat. No problem. Right, okay, so that's like a melon yellow. We're going to get a really light yellow over on this side. So, Aidy's going to take the Roan Camp out and see if he can get it working. And we're also going to drop some red on as well. This is going to be our base coat. And then we're going to do some pretty amazing things over the top of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, nearly just destroyed my leg in the process. Right, let's come back around that way. Let's uh, let's go straight in with the can. And then we're going to get a draw up of reds. So it's all going to be summery, lovely, warm colours. We're celebrating the fact that it is incredibly warm here. <laughs> so let's just get that nicely spread around. And then we're going to have some epic fun with the colours that go over the top of it. Now I'm going to use, what shall I use? Shall I use a brush? No. No, let's use a scraper. We're going to give that a little spray of thinners. Now, if this is your first time on the broadcast, please do ask as many questions as you want. We will do our very best to try and answer them for you. And, we're, of course, we will be doing the shout-outs a little bit later on. But right now, we just want to get some paint on, folks. That's it. That's what you. That's why we're here, isn't it? Let's get the paint on. Let's get it swooshed and skadooshed around. Now, a lot of this is going to get covered up, so it's a very, very quick base coat. Lovely technique. It's dead easy and simple. And I just want to go for some canvas coverage here, because what I don't want at the end of it is to have lots of white gaps everywhere. So we're going really kind of thick and creamy and gorgeous, and it doesn't matter how much I work and rework this. Let's just get every last little bit of that canvas done. It's only going to take a couple of minutes. The quickest way of being able to get a canvas ready. Oh, no, we're just trying, as you can might see on the screen, if your screen goes a little bit dark and the word no signal comes up, it is furiously behind the scenes trying to get 
the Ronin cam up and running. We have absolutely no idea why. All the systems say it should be fine. So I think there's going to be a running issue this evening. Ah, well, we haven't had technical problems for quite some time. So I think we do pretty well. Considering there's no real PDF on how to do this that you can download. You kind of have to work it all out for yourself. But if anyone can do it, AD can do it. Be the man. Be the man. Now, in all this, let me walk you through uh, some of the things that I'm deciding to do. Now, where there's an excess of paint, what I want to try and do is to push that kind of into the centre, or maybe I might just bring it to one edge. Because as we move this and gravity takes over, of course, the paint is going to start moving, which is the whole point of this lovely table. Now, it's not a spin machine, like, you know, it's been used a million times before, and we've got our own spin machine, which of course we do use. But it's kind of a variation on that, and I like to think it gives you a little bit more control over what's going on. You know, even already we've got all these rich tones all mixing together, which I absolutely love. Tons of paint on this edge, actually, so I might keep a lot of paint on this edge, because we're going to start moving that around very, very shortly. Yeah, I think I've kind of overdone it with the paint. Ah, well, always do. So when we've got our summery, baking hot summer's day background done, we're going to go in with the colours and we're going to see some pretty amazing things happen when they start mixing with this. Oh yeah, let's get some skadooshed over there. There we are. Happy days. Almost there, guys. Lovely. Actually, it's nice not to have to bend down for a change. <laughs> there, the eagle-eyed amongst you will see that there is some catch canvas on the floor. Don't worry, Instagram, if you can't see that. It will move the camera angles as we go through the various phases of the painting. It's so nice not having to bend down. Okay, and we're just going to generally... There we go. Look, it's like lava, isn't it? Like a volcanic eruption already. There you go, sold. <laughs> Marvellous. Some great things already starting to happen. Now, I think... That's our base coat done. Happy days. Liking that. Now, if I squeeze past here, I can hear AD furiously trying to get the camera working in the background. Oh, man, it's just not... It does not seem to be working. Ah, oh, dear. Right, okay. That's our base coat done. So I'm going to just tip this. Okay, now, where did I put the bulk of the paint? Let's, let's have a go with that. Let, let's try the first tip of the evening. And we're going to start to see things moving. You know, so around here, I appreciate it might be difficult to see, but look, they are already started to move. So I've probably got about 30, 40 seconds. <laughs> and I'm going to do some hellos and some shout outs. Now, on the all camera shot, you can see we've got one blank quarter of the screen. I'm sorry about that. We are working to try and resolve it. Uh, we had Emmanuel first through the door. He's very excited to see what we're doing. Hello, Emmanuel. Very great to see you here. And who else have we got? Uh, Mr. Buenio. Hello, John. Artfish42 and a time for art. And uh, Matthew, of course. God bless you too, my friend. Charlene. Hello, Charlene. And Shelley Foley. And we've got Denise Weeks. Buongiorno. Eleanor has joined us. Lucia and Juan Blanco. Drink water, y'all. We are the Funny Foxes here. Hello, Suarez and Zedemady. Astrid, beautiful in Austria. Uh, and Annette has joined us from the Netherlands, as I recall. Samara and uh, Attila. Hello, good evening to you. Sandy and uh, Ivy Runners. Hello, Ed. Uh, Denise Deverell, great to see you here. And uh, Lee Archer, yes, made it from NYC. Hello, Lee. Uh, Hazel Scott, which is hello, Hazel. Hello, hello, great to see you here. Dale dropped in. Hello from my friend, how you doing? Zane, good day. Uh, class glass, lovely. Bernie Woodward, hello again, I'm here. Bernie, thank you, Bernie, for being here. That's great. Sly Romo, uh, great to see you here again. Sonia, oh, oh, the sound's gone. Okay, right, so I'll keep talking. Yeah, hello, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, okay, he's got me, yeah. Okay, yeah, we had a slight technical issue there, everybody. Uh, I oh, said hello to Shelley. Another technical, Ina for, <laughs> a technical issue for AD to juggle. Christina, paintings by Jorge, Wayne Tully, Camo Films, working at a good height, yes. Gary, I made it from Texas. Right, this is great. Lots of you saying hello. 
Right, okay, it's there, uh, let's, uh, what have we got? Oh, it's already moving, it's already moving. Uh, uh, Diva says hello from North Carolina over on Instagram, marvellous. Right, we'll get the next set of gloves on, and let's get this levelled out. Okay, we're going to move it the other way. This is where the fun starts to happen, we're going to get lots of dribbles on the floor, on the catch canvases, that's always good for a laugh. Okay, right, we're all back. Gosh, honestly, we are having a few technical uh, gremlins tonight. Right then, who's up for a drop of lime green, eh? Love a drop of lime green. Okay, here we go. So, I am going to start it off in this corner. And let's go in. Let's go. That's the lime. Oh, this is going to get interesting. This is going to get interesting. We're going to go in with some blue. Let's get in with the blue. Nice. That's two there. We want one more. And I think we're going to go in with the water blue. Oh, controversial. So let's get that. He's having one last try. Bless him. Poor man is uh, not having a, a good camera evening, unfortunately. And I'm going to go for a drop of cream. We'll soldier on, though, as we do. And then we'll go look at that right the way through. Right, so I think we're officially giving up trying to get the roam cam to work. Not to worry. Not to worry. It is what it is. Now I'm going to have a quick, quick flick. Am I? Yes, I am. There we go. Let's help that on its way. We've got Queen's Gold to come. Some lovely colours to come. But for now, we're going to get this, this on. So let's give it a tip. All right, this is where I'm going to watch to see what's happening now. We want those colours to start infusing together. It's the first proper tip of the evening. There we go. Let's get him up. I'm minding how quick and how far that goes. Now, I can also turn it as well. This is the cool thing about it. I've got to really be careful on how much thinners I'm using here. So, let's give a little spray there. And let's get one on the outer edge of this blue. Let's get that moving. Now, while you see that go down the canvas, I'm going to get the next colour ready. Probably, almost definitely have some rocket red as well this evening. I'm loving using the rocket rocket red. Out there, it goes my head. Even though it does cost a, a small fortune. Uh, let's get ourselves a little skadoosh of purple in there and see what happens to that. Now, of course, with these, I've also got to make sure that where it's also dripping, that I get some movement on the base. So we're going to get the base moving as well. I quite like all of this to start really starting to form some amazing shapes. So let's give it a turn. Let's mess that up. No, unfortunately, AD cannot get the camera to work. So sorry about that, folks. We're down to three cameras. Not to worry. Not to worry. We do pretty well. I'm not going to beat ourselves up just because of that. Okay. Happy days. Happy days so far. Now, while that's moving, let's get the blue out. Now, all of these are going to be unthinned as they go onto the canvas because they're going to get kind of thinned out when they go on. So we're going to move that again and try and encourage it this way if we can. There we go. Okay, so let's... Uh, I think what I'll do, I'll move you... There we go, Insta. Let's move you around there. Let's see if I can get some of that you actually see, I think you can probably see that starting to move down there, can't you? Uh, Sam J Smiles, and Gloria, and Paja, Paja Sissar. Is that, have I said that right? Run, Megzy, run. <laughs> nice to see you here. Oh, yes, I recognise your avatar, run, Megzy, run. Um, right, from Facebook. Okay, fantastic. Oh, uh, so Floyd Ely, first time tuning in from Tennessee, but I watch your videos for inspiration. You're so awesome. Well, thank you very much. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you, Floyd. Uh, and Donna. Hello, Donna Lehman. Have you ever had embellishments to your paintings? Um, well, occasionally we might put in things like um, some sprinkles, you know, some, some small metallic flakes. They always go down a tree. So you never know, maybe tonight... Maybe tonight we might actually do that. Hey, we could put some sprinkles in, couldn't we? Right, okay. So, well, AD has really, really tried to uh, get that working for us with the roam camp. So, uh, not to worry. Right, well, one PTZ, buddy. I'm going to do an arc of blue over here. 
So uh, you tell me when you're ready, and I'll uh, I'll do the do the proverbial. Ready? Oh, look at that go all the way off. Beautiful. That's got the blue on. So we're building up our kind of cooler tones at the moment in readiness for what's about to come. So we'll get that blue going on. And I want to just introduce a small amount of black, which I'm going to do here. And I'm going to do it in a couple of different places because I want this to start mixing with the orange fairly early. So we're going to send that from the opposite corner. I've got another blue and another line to go on. And I'm going to be very... Oh, look, it's already making some awesome shapes, isn't it? Let's build this up because the blue can go through the blue. That's going to be pretty nice. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to get the red, encourage the red a little more. I can't really see it, but I'm going to get that in the corner as well. And then we're going to break open the Piaggio, which I'm going to pop over just under the black, because what I'm hoping I can do is, as the black moves, it's going to pick up this arc and move it. That's the hope, anyway. Albert Tatlock says, good evening. Good evening, Albert. Good to see you here. Say again, mate. Yep, got it. Perfect. Right, okay. Now, where did all the purple go? The purple's kind of disappeared, so I'm just going to straighten that up a little bit. And we're going to go again with some little loops in there. And I'm very tempted. Uh, oh, Colo Global Arts is here. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you. Adventure production, sorry. Yes, I knew I'd get it right in the end. <laughs> now, white, of course. White is going to have to feature in this at some point or another. So I've got one squeezy bottle left. And I'm going to get that filled up because white's going to be quite crucial here. If I can just only locate where it is. There we go. Happy days. Right. Are we moving? Are we moving? Not as fast as I want. So let's move it that way. That's better. Oh, yes. Now we've got another rotate going on. I love doing these because it's so unpredictable. And of course, the amount of decisions that you can make that affect even the slightest amount of paint on the canvas is almost uh, infinite. And I love that. There's a million different things you could do every single time. It will always be different. So let's just get the white in. Try actually get some in the in the dispenser rather than all over the table. <laughs> right, we're going in with the white very shortly. I think the white probably, I've got to stop it in my head, needs to go here. Let's try. Why is that not coming out then? Is it not coming out? Why is that not coming out then? Is it because of, oh, ah, there we go. Silly, silly boy. Well, let's get a nice squeeze of white over in this corner. To be fairly accurate with this, I know it doesn't look like it. It's just going to add some nice accents. All right. Right, sticking to everything as usual. Uh, okay, right, so let's now turn this. And I think, hmm, which way we're going to go? Yeah, let's go. Let's do that. We're going to give it a spray. Now, this is where it should really start to get on the move now. So what haven't we sprayed? Let's do the outside edges of some of these and really encourage them to come this way. Uh, so, Nuan, uh, do you ever get air bubbles in your paint, as with acrylic paint? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Well, not really, actually. Uh, occasionally they do. Um, but... Uh, Usually they just pop of their own accord, to be honest. So I don't really have to do anything with them. We can also give it a small um, spray with thinners, a very fine spray. And what I find that tends to do the, uh, is get rid of it. We've also got an alcohol spray as well, which we can use for, for anything that's really stubborn. <laughs> so uh, thank you for asking that question. So we're just going to leave that. Oh, it nearly went. It nearly went. So we, yeah, so we're watching the black now drip down. We are going to start to get some paint now really starting to move. So what I'm going to do, let's just, let's just tighten that off because I want, I want a severe angle now. So I've tightened the bolt. So that should, in theory, stay there for a moment. Let's get some of these blends going. Now, of course, we didn't have an awful lot in this corner. So what I want to do now, I'm going to give that a spray in that corner and encourage 
some of this heaviness of the paint to start mixing through. And we're going to start to see some very interesting things happening. All right. Gold is still yet to come. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use gold and I'm also going to use rocket red. And I think they're going to be the next colours. But look, you see what's happening already? It's dragging through. So I think what I'd like to do is stick... Look, let's see what happens now. I'm just going to go north of the black, buddy, over into where you're looking at, top left. And then let's give ourselves, look, one line of black. And let's see what happens to that. Oh, it's off. It's off, look. It's the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, there it is. There it is, right up there, look. The Eye of Sauron. Nice. Let's move that there so you can see it a bit better. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> yes, the time for right. It does look like a page out of a story, but doesn't it? It's on the move, folks. It's on the move. Now, the hope, the hope and pray here is the black is strong enough to take us for a line. What I want is for that to kind of delineate itself and go, and go down there, but it can't be at the expense of everything else, which is now starting to fall off. But it's great. I don't mind that. But don't mind that. We're very much playing with the angles here, aren't we? That's what we're doing, folks. Yeah. We are playing with the angles. Love it. So let's just keep this. We'll keep it nice. There we go. I can always get the hands in. Look. Let's get the fingers involved. Oh, yeah. Now, I've always found, having done this for quite a few years, trickiness when I'm putting black and orange together, because especially with these enamel paints, it's very, very easy to get it to turn to mud. So I'm really trying to monitor this. And whilst I want lots of different tonal shifts, I don't want mud. So I've got to be extremely careful that that's what I don't end up with. So, so far, so good. We're getting this really nice movement going on. I like this kind of upright static position. I'm going to come around here. We're starting to get some runoff on the bottom. Let's give, the, let's give this a spray down here. And I'm not in the way of the camera for once. <laughs> Miracles will never cease. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm liking that. That is nice. See what just what a little drop of black mate. So you painted the eye in acrylic, did you, uh, did you Lynn? <laughs> nice. Oh Jeff, Jeff Kelly. Oh Jeff's done the dad joke again. Look, can we all see that? Look, Jeff Kelly, I watched the Lord of the Rings movies habitually. A bit, surely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff, you crap us up, dude. That's funny. That, that is funny. Yeah, Lucia, it is like fire, isn't it? You are summer colours. Who said that? Lucia. C-E. 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 Like fire. Ah, C-E said pure summer colours. Great. So we're going to keep the angle now, folks, but we're going to send it the other way, look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's all we can do. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Have I got the angle the same? Can we get it to go the other way? I think that's not bad. That's not bad. So it should now start to come back. So, of course, we're going to get the, the black. The Eye of Sauron is going to come back this way, look. So let's just pull you guys out. Lovely. What a nice, nice sort of ray of sunshine. Okay. We're, go we're going big guns now, guys. I, I, I'm, I, can't, I can't not now. <laughs> so, Rocket Red. The rocket red's going in. This is this could take a little while to go through. So I think what I'm going to do is introduce it, but in a line. Let's see if we can send it through there. And see what happens. So that's the flash. That is the... That's the fire. That's the real... That's the colour that's absolutely going to send this on fire. And I'm so tempted, actually just to run the tiniest slick of black next to it. Let's see what happens to that as we go a little bit further down. So I am going to introduce it, rather than being a single blob, let's, oh, okay, well, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, let's take it there. That's good, let's let, let's let that run a little bit. There's a lot of fire going on already, which is fantastic. Could I squeeze out a drop more orange over here because I would quite like to introduce maybe from these fronds of blue here just reintroduce some of that gorgeous orange because that's going to encourage itself to move through which is going to bring those elements from one corner to another so let's try and think about that it's very warm in here tonight folks 
very, very warm indeed. So I uh, might have to stop and have another drink in a minute. Right, so, so far, oh yeah, well that Rocky Red is certainly um, a, a large statement, isn't it? Okay, let's get some gloves on. Let's get some gloves on. Uh, Floyd says, lovely watching the painting flow, thank you. Uh, heat wave in Texas for Gary. Right, okay. So far, so good. Oh, yes, actually, I'll just cool my hands a second by the fan. Sorry, it's done. Just sat behind you, just cooling my hands off on the fan for a second. I'll stop with the incredibly warm bit. But anyway, it's incredibly warm. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Right, guys, if you are enjoying this, and of course, hopefully you are so far, because there's 80 of you watching on there, loads of you over on Instagram, uh, remember, please do give us a big thumbs up. That would be awesome. Thank you very much. Whatever device you're on, find the thumbs button, tap it, press it, hit it on your remote control if you're watching on a big screen TV. Lucky you. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. And we've got some new faces here tonight. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, we have got 340 videos you can go and watch. Wowzers. Binge watch that because Netflix is rubbish. Do give us a subscribe. Click on the bell icon. You never miss any of these. That's the important thing. And we've got lots of our patrons watching as well this evening. Hello to you all. Our patrons support us through the channel. And of course, they can get their free, I say free, absolutely complimentary original Suarez painting series of 102 tiles they are mind-blowing and they're only available to our patrons if you want to find out on your screen now how you can get one of these you can follow the link in the description when the broadcast is over or if i that's it that's the tiles where mother mouse is you can see them there or my colleague will pop a link to our patreon page down in the chat messages and you can go and open that in a new browser and away you go. The last thing I just want to briefly mention, folks, is what I'm wearing now. There is a serious side to this. We're launching new merch all the time. We've got these amazing sweatshirts, the premium quality ones. We're just going to show you on the screen now. Lots of colours available. There are crew necks. There are long sleeve, short sleeve. There are hoodies. There's all kinds of stuff. Go have a little look. Why not treat yourself? I mean, come on. They're amazing. I've got a brand new one on tonight. I'm not afraid to get paint on it. Who cares? <laughs> Go check it out later on, guys. There's a whole load of stuff available with brand new designs. We're very excited by it all, as I am with the painting. Right, let's turn it round. Let's get back to the action. Thank you ever so much, everybody. What is happening? Oh, my goodness. We've got a streak of lava burning through the sky. I knew it had to happen, and there it is, guys. We're going to send it back the other way now. We've got something really extraordinary starting to happen now, and I'm super excited about it. Now, where's all the white gone? White's disappeared. Come on, Ed. Let's get the white on. Let's have some of that. Right, first of all, we're going to tease a little drop down here, and we're going to send it all the way through the Piaggio. That's going to nicely mix in there. Uh, what else are we going to do? Are we going to send one through the Rocket Red? No, we're going to leave that exactly as it is. I'm loving that. Okay, now there's no purple tonight, guys, because I haven't had my paint delivery. So for all of you wanting and wishing there should be per some purple, including my colleague out in control, there is only one shade of purple. And we've used that already. <laughs> but right now, right now, we're going to get the Queen's Gold on. Your Majesty, we're doing it for you. We are. So, gold it's going to be. No, hey, just gonna... that's pretty good. Just going to level that up a little bit because the eye of Sauron there is looking more like a mermaid's purse that you find on the beach. Um, so let's figure out which direction I'm going to send the gold in. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. I've got my coastlines kind of opening up now. Do I want, how long do I want this to be? Or do I do it from the other way? No, it's definitely got to be from here, hasn't it? Right, okay, let's tip him back up again. Here we go. We've got a gentle, gentle run. Um, I'm going to stop that one there and let it go. Let's see if I can get the line. The line, there we go. Now, I might have to tease this a little bit. And in actual fact, I'm probably going to get my my grout spreader on it. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a skadooshing down here just to kind of persuade it to, to sort of get on its way a little bit. There we go. Maybe just dig a line out that I want. We're going to give that a spray in just a second. Most of that's going to kind of disappear, but that's fine. I don't mind that. 
and I want to kind of bring, let's see if we can bring a line up there and see what we're doing. Look, we're now starting to, to reveal what's underneath and this is the beauty of the technique. Now you're starting to get it. Let's dig around here. We can encourage all kinds of wonderful effects now, purely with this piece of plastic. It is incredible, folks. I absolutely love it. Now we can put the waves in. Now we can see what lies beneath. I'm going to go round to the other side and do the same thing. Um, now, I'm just tip it round this way a little bit. This is where it gets kind of scary because I'm altering my angles now, but I don't care. So far, so good. Let's see what we got under the lime. It's nice. So, of course, the lime now is going to start to congeal into other areas, but we're also going to run off into here. So that's nice. So I'm going to introduce another colour in that so that we just kind of jazz the lime up a little bit, you know? But all we want to do is give it a little bit of a, a bit of a tickle. What can I pop in there? Yes, nice. That'll do. What colour's that? No idea, but it looks lovely. <laughs> I think, I think we may be in the purple end of the spectrum, and I said that we weren't going to get any, and here it is. So let's get the angle right on that. I know Aidy's trying to give me a shot. Okay, because we're going to have another spray in a minute, but this, this is nice. We've got some purple here, everybody. Mmm. Can I get a purple? Purple. We've got the purple. Right, here we go. Let's get a couple of lines through here. We're going to go right from the edge. Oh, that's going to be a nice one. Yeah, I can see where that's going. Let's tilt it down. Yeah, so far so good. Where are we going to put another one? We've got to get another one, haven't we? That's looking nice. Maybe. Oh, this is tricky now. Ed, what are you going to do, man? Where's it going to go? You think? Yeah, that's that's nice. I like that. We might have to take one from the other side, but I think... No, actually, I'm going to go for broke. Let's get one here. Let's get it fairly thin. And let's make it go down. It's a bit like the stripey ones we were doing about three or four weeks ago, wasn't it? Right, we're going to force that, let that go down. We're going to get the angle back on it. We're going to give it a bit of a spray. Got to be careful now how much I spray and when and where I spray it. Because the canvas will start to ripple if I'm not, um, if I'm not, let's see what I'm looking for, careful. It needs to go. This is not too bad. We're going to mix something with it. Let's give that just this one a spray. See, look, off it goes. It doesn't care. It's off on its holidays. The Rocket Red, sensational. Loving that. And I think now is perhaps some more time for some yellow. And rather than go the melony type yellow, I think I'm going to go for the bright, stark one. Limes are looking good. Don't want any more lime on it. We're going to send another yellow this way. And we're going to send it down here, I think. And let's see how far I can get that. A lot of yellow going on, but don't worry, don't worry. It's fine. You might think, oh no, Ed, what are you doing? Do not panic. I've got this, okay? <laughs> you can see now this gorgeous chocolatey maroon kind of hint of purple. I don't even know what it's called. It's, it's, it's such a cool colour. Okay, so that's good so far. We're going to let that go down. Let's tease it. Let's just have a little dig inside it. Look, we're breaking it up a little bit. It's lots of painted. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Beautiful. And we're going to do the same. Oh, is that going to... Oh, it's going. It's going. It's going. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Let's tighten that up. Right. Okay. That's fine. We've got that. Okay. So, um, are you still on PTZ, mate? You're on overhead. Okay, cool. Let me scoot around this side then. And uh, we're going to tease the yellow. Hmm. There we go. Just mess that up a little bit. And I'm going to give a little squeeze of my white. Now, we're probably going to bring the white back the other way, because guess what will happen as we start to rotate this now? Oh, things are going to get interesting. Let's give this some white. Let's get white all the way down the centre and see where that takes us. Oh, yeah. Tiny little squeezy bottle, this one. Those very, very fine lines. Look, it may be a crude technique, but there's a reason for everything. All right, so that's the white going in that direction. Don't need any there. Let's just do a little bit of an accompaniment down there. 
Nice. Okay, I'm going to stand back, change my gloves yet again because they're ruined. Instagram, we're going to move you again so you can see uh, what's going on there. Colours are really starting to build up nicely now. Let's move that to there. Gold, I can see, starting to look unbelievable as it's ca catching the light. Yeah, the rocket red is really starting to, to come off the edge. This is quite interesting. Right, okay. Let's get my uh, hands dry. Let's get some gloves on. We're going to keep things moving here, guys. We're keeping it moving. Now, can I dare... <laughs> Uh, can I get a, a, a vote? Shall we vote? Would you like to see the two paintings from last week? Those of you who are here, we used the giant barrel. We made two amazing paintings. Would you like to see them? Now, this is not the guys on Instagram. I'm really sorry because we can't stream it. But would you like to see it? Let's let's see. We run ourselves a little poll. Now, there's 82 of you watching. Let's see now. Would you like? We've done a little video of last week's paintings exclusively so you can see just for you guys tonight it's not going to be posted on social media would you like to see last week's paintings let's see we'll give we'll give it 30 seconds let's see see who says what well i give this a spray let's see let's see if we can get 100 percent saying yes <laughs> i want to see it let's see it right okay we're just encouraging the edges of this to keep moving we've got a catch canvas underneath doing a grand job I do need to have some paint going the other way. We're about to make things a little bit crazy and send it the other way. Right, so the votes are coming in. The votes are coming in, guys. We'll give it another 20 seconds or so. Would you like to see last week's paintings? So, so far, one person says no. Okay, you're obviously really enjoying this one so much. Right, let's just turn that back on a flat plane. Sorry, Instagram. All right, I'm going to move that round because guess what? We're going to turn that the other way now. Oh, lots of paint on it. This is looking nice. This is looking good. I love it. Right, okay. So 96% say yes. I think if we... Uh, shall we do that then, buddy? Shall we, shall we show everybody? I think we should do it. you said tomorrow so just do it make your dreams come true nothing is impossible no what are you waiting for do it just do it yes you can right can i get this side can i get this side right, one's off oh, mine's off there two's off yeah just gently feel that away Back on, and yeah. there we go. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Now, can you see what we just did? If you were watching last week's live stream, and I'm sure you were, you'll have seen us do this with the barrel. We rolled it over, created these two incredible works of art. We said we'd try and bring it to you uh, on this week's stream, but we've got them out of the pod and in a manner that you can at least see how amazing they've turned out. Well, we hope you enjoyed the little rip away like we actually did when, when they were joined together. But here they are then, guys. So we've got the one that was on the table and that's currently on the board. Looks pretty stunning, if I say so myself. I'm just gonna straighten it out just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, take that one off. Yeah. Perfect, there we go. That's okay, better. now you can see that a bit better. Right. If you pull the bottom one to you a little bit, the bottom one, the one on the floor, which is the bottom one. To me. To you a little bit. So you can get it. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. There we go. Right. Right, do you want me to yeah, let's adjust yeah. that one as well? You are seeing this live, look. Okay. There we Does go. That look a bit better? That's a little better, yeah. yeah. That looks a little so you better. You can see without the ripples now, can't you? So Just look at that. How incredible does that look? Let's get up close and personal a little bit, shall we? I mean, there's a favourite spot for me. Oh, I love that. Those oh, torrents. Yeah. And... What, just down there? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Incredible, isn't it? Fantastic. Now, we, we have posted a few uh, photos onto social media, so we hope you've seen a few of those. Aidy took some pictures on Friday last week, so we posted them over the weekend. 
Uh, but now you're getting the proper first look at it. Uh, and I, I just think they're stunning. They are absolutely incredible. And the Rocket Red is just peppered everywhere. Remember yes. when we put that on? It's just literally gone everywhere. It's incredible. So this one was the one that was on the table. Yes. And then this is the one and that this was on one, the barrel. Yes. Yeah, is the one that was on the barrel. So again, we've got the same incredible effects. Now, Ed thinks that he, he prefers this one. I do. I don't know why. To I the do. other. I think I pretty much love that one there. But let us know which one is your favourite. Let's get some close ups of this again. Into that rocket red, orange, some of the gold. Into that fiery, sort of lava looking section. Into the Piaggio. There we go. And there's the streaks on this one here. And that is its doppelganger yeah. just there. But amazing, isn't it? How different they look. I mean, they are the same, the same, but different. And I love that. They've both got, each of them's got a unique personality. And I hope in the next, well, you know, maybe week, two weeks, that we should get them stretched around the frame. That's the hope anyway. Um, so they'll probably go on the same frames each. We'll put them side by side. Um, and then you can have a look at them, you know, together when they're finished. We'll get them up on a wall somewhere and you can have a look. But that's it, guys. Back to me and AD in the studio. So, oh. how did you enjoy that then? Yeah, they're pretty good, aren't they? From that one technique, all the paint that went on, last week's stream has turned into those epic paintings. We've already measured to see what the finish size is going to be. They are going to hang as a pair next to each other. And when they do, obviously we'll let you know. But we just wanted to share that with you guys. How amazing do they look? I think you'll agree. It's going to be worth a thumbs up, hasn't it? <laughs> You've got some incredible comments, and we really appreciate that. Thank you. But whilst we bask, in how awesome last week's live stream was can we just have a little look at what's going on here because let us not forget we are doing something sunny and dramatic and full of temperature and hotness at the same time it's got to be epic and geological and look at that didn't i tell you that the rocket red was going to be the star i was so excited to use it and right through the center folks how beautiful is that i'll tell you it's very we've got incredible things happening where i dug into the paints the gold has got this incredible streak all the way through now is the very crucial thing where i've got to reverse it because i don't want it to go all the way without coming slightly back again so um when Andy tells me that he's got the zoom out then i'm going to flatten this and let's turn it again but i think you'll agree let me know what you think in the comments that's coming out pretty well while you were looking at the video, I added some more white streaks here, just here and there. Now, the crazy person inside me wants to, con to have that as the angle now, which would really mess everything up, you know, like that. But I know what's going to happen. It's just going to end up full of drips. So actually, for tonight, I'm very happy to keep the, the, how dramatic this is. Look, I mean, here, where we're getting this kind of, you know, undulating heartbeat of a shape going up and down. We've got peaks and troughs going on it's just phenomenal You've got to be so careful now with this yellow because it's going to end up dominating and i want to keep the white in between because it's kind of separating everything out so i'm just being very very gentle on the angles here so that i don't mess too many things up and this is just what i want to be quite quite careful with now that i can just accentuate with just these very very small turns Especially that rocket red because things are going to start to, to settle a little bit and particularly these couple of three peaks here and i've got to watch that these two don't kind of delineate because there will come a time i have to stop flatten it out and that's how it stays um but for now i think we're going to see it from here anyway it looks kind of extraordinary i can't give you a look on roam cam sadly because roam cam has decided that it doesn't want to work um 
Ada's going to check it one more time, but I don't think we're going to get that working this evening, which is a, a great shame. So no signal on that. So that, let me give it a rotate. I think, there you go. I don't know what orientation you'd have that in. You could even hang it as a diamond. Look at, look at that. I mean, that, if I try and, there you go. I can only do it for a short period of time, but how nice is that as an orientation? It's already moving. No, I can't. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. that. That's the way that rotates around. I can see the yellow still moving, you know, but that I think in any almost any angle is just just pretty extraordinary. And I'm loving that. I know we use those words a lot here, um, you know, but we're, we're passionate. We love what we do. That's why we do this every week. You know, we, we lose money on this every time we we press the go button. But that's not what this is about. What this is about is doing something with some legs, you know, some longevity. We always talk about having a legacy. Well, so this is broadcast number 141. So uh, we are leaving quite a legacy <laughs> we behind this. Um, so Cookie Monster. Uh, yes, he's such a friendly guy. Are you talking about me? I hope you are. <laughs> Thank you, Cookie Monster. I can't stay my painting bone starts to tickle. Thank you, Cookie Monster. Color effects uh, working alone. Really love it so far. Thank you, Manuel. That's very kind of you. Um, on the one on the wall is my favourite, but they're both unique. Blessings and happy, happy painting. I think you mean painting. Ah, <laughs> oh, some lovely comments. The speed of delight. That's a nice one from Matthew. This is really nice. Thank you, everybody. Your comments are very, very kind. What have we got over at Insta? Elham and Kunzweiler and Cheshire Paint. Uh, Imperfect Us uh, joined. Art Cecil joined. Well, guys, on Insta, I am going to give you a proper closing look um, at what this is. Um, oh, what's that say? Michael, oh, Emmanuel, 141. That's amazing. I'm only on number three. Well, we, we were there at some point. Uh, Emmanuel doing, doing broadcast number three. Uh, but now we're at broadcast 141. Can you believe that? It really is quite extraordinary. Let's give that a little twirl. Okay, because I will have to set for a level point at some point. But actually, I'm really, really happy with that. I don't want to send it too far the other way, especially because I know that that yellow is going to dominate. But that is looking pretty extraordinary. And I'm extremely happy with that. That's a happy thing, that is. Yeah, so as you look at it now, the finished size is going to be 150 centimeters square. Okay, so we're going to lose 10 off the sides all the way around. That will allow it to stretch around the frame and underneath and be stapled. So in American, that is, what's 150? 51 inches, I think. Yeah, 51 inches square. Uh, that will be by the time it's finished. 53, maybe? Oh, I don't know, Some, something like that. Meter and a half, 39. No, it's not. It's more than that. 39, 58. There you go. 58 inches square. And a quick bit of arithmetic. Um, so there we go, guys. That, I think, anyway, I'm going to leave it there because otherwise I'm going to mess things up. But we're kind of going to let that now settle. AD will give you one last look on the overhead. Let's just choose an angle where I think it's probably going to look the most dramatic. Let's uh, let's choose that one. Okay, it's kind of yeah. And I'm going to scoot this way from the camera. And while Instagram are watching us, while AD tries to give you the best view that he can, considering we haven't got Roam Cam, I'm going to attempt to not get in the way and give Instagram a really nice look at some of these incredible paint effects that are starting to come out now. And of course, what's going to happen is this will continue to develop. Oh yeah, it doesn't just stay like this. As the paint thinners evaporate and the solvents take over and the chemical reactions continue, this will change. And of course, there's any variation in level how level this is. Of course, then I'm going to see a change in the paint. It's very tempting, it's extremely tempting now, just to leave this uh, in an upright position and see what happens. But I kind of, from experience, know what's going to happen. Uh, and it would end in a bit of a disaster. So we're going to give you that slow zoom. So we, with AD zoomed in now, we're just going to try and replicate what the Roman cam would do. And give it a full rotate for you. I know Instagram is difficult for you guys to see, so I was trying to lift you up. So you can see we'll give you a little bit of a rotate. Now, because of the amount of thinners, in some places you may just see a few ripples in the canvas, even though this is stapled down to the top here. So I've got to be very, very careful of that. This really, really nice effect starting to come out here. 
beautiful blends going on. And there's some very unusual combination of colours going on. And there's the rocket red, the star of the show. That should continue to, to pop where it mixes. Also fluorescent level. And there we go, look. There we go. That's probably where well, we're going to leave it for tonight. i got to get on that level. I've got a load of tidying up to do anyway, but hey-ho. It's the nature of the game, isn't it? Let's move that to there. And I think, my friends, that's where we're going to leave it. Your comments are amazing. Let's see what you say. Um, in each shot, I can see different works. It's beautiful. Thank you, Jorge. Uh, such depth for time for art. Thanks, and then lady. Great evening from Samara. Holy fire from Matthew. Oh, I like that. Uh, thank you, Annabelle. Hello, Annabelle. Lovely to see you. Loy, I'm feeling motivated to paint something today. That's what we like, Loy. Uh, exploding colour uh, from Albert. Cherish the messy painter. Oh, yes. Love the view. Beautiful turnout, says Dale. Thank you. And Beth Arden. Hello, Beth. 141 is amazing. Oh, I just... Another comment. Come on. Oh, I've lost it, Beth. What did you say? Uh, were you happy with the results of the very first live stream? No. <laughs> but I'm very happy with this one, Beth, I can tell you. <laughs> Jeff Kelly, thank you very much, Jeff, and for the jokes. We love that. That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, Aidy, were you going to say something? Uh, in each shot, I can see different work. Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thank you, Jorge. Yeah, we're, we're going to do some macro shots on this. Let me just quickly tell you, uh, we've got this amazing lens that we can put onto our phones, and it takes these insane close-up shots. I mean, like, a millimetre away from the canvas, and then it zooms in. There's plenty of them on TikTok. Suarez Art over on TikTok. Go check them out. There's loads over on there as well as all the other social media channels. Just going to flash it. There's so much content we're putting out. It's rich, rich with content, folks, and we haven't even got to the best of stuff yet. So there we go. Thank you so much for your comments. God bless everybody. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Manuel. I have to get back to work. Well, Floyd, thank you for being here. Lots of new faces here. Sly says uh, thank you. As, uh, no, so has enjoyed it as well, which is great. We're going to let that dry off. It is going to change a little bit. Uh, we'll update our patrons first. They'll get an exclusive update on Friday. Remember, if you do want to join them and get all the yeah, updates for everybody else, you can follow the Patreon link down in the description when it's over. Now, next week, next week, the forecast is going to be even hotter. So we'll keep our fingers crossed we can do a stream next week, guys. But if it does get it's 44 degrees in here and it's in half past eight at night, if it gets too hot next week, we have to keep ourselves safe. You've seen already some of the equipment start to fail today. We haven't had a roam cam, so we are really, really trying to keep everything as good as we can and to keep everything as cool as we can, including us two, you know, because we're the organic life forms that are bringing you the streams every week. So we have to keep our safety in mind, but we'll schedule a stream in for next week and fingers crossed we can bring that to you in the heat. I hope doesn't stop us. If it does, you'll know why. We'll put a video out anyway, so at least you'll have something. Uh, for next Wednesday at the same time, which only leaves us to say thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure. I do hope you've enjoyed something a little bit more um, unusual this evening. We've created fire. We've created a volcano. We've we've done all things geological. We've done some amazing textural things, and we've had a bit of fun with a rotating and panning table as well. How cool is that? Well, let me know if you found that anywhere else on the internet tonight. I doubt you will. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure. On behalf of Adrian and myself, please stay safe, well, and healthy wherever you are. And we do look forward to your company, fingers crossed, heat wave not committing, and we all see you next week. That's it from us for tonight. Remember, go shop for your merch. Go treat yourself to a, to a pint glass. I'm going to fill mine up with water and keep myself hydrated. But from us, for this week, from a fantastic painting, from him and me, it's a very good evening, and thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.